Good day everyone! In this video, we will discuss about introduction to conic sections. What are conic sections? Conics are special curves and are classified into four types, namely circle, parabola, ellipse, and a hyperbola. For us to easily visualize the conics, let us illustrate them using cones. Let us start off with circle. Circle is being formed when the plane cuts one of the circular cones perpendicular to its vertical axis and parallel to its base. In the illustration, this is the base of the cone. And this line is the vertical axis. When this plane cuts the cone in such a way that it is parallel to the base and perpendicular to the vertical axis, then a circle is being formed. On the other hand, parabola is formed when the cutting plane is parallel to one side of the cone and intersects one of the two cones. The line here is the side or one side of the cone. If the plane becomes parallel to this line and intersects only one cone, then the parabola is being formed. However, if you will cut the cone at a certain angle, and not parallel to one side of the cone, then an ellipse is formed. Just like in the illustration, notice that the plane is not parallel to any side of the cone. Therefore, here is the ellipse being formed. Finally, when the cutting plane intersects the two cones parallel to their vertical axis, and perpendicular to their bases, then hyperbola is being formed. Remember that this is the vertical axis. If you will notice, the vertical axis and the cutting plane are parallel. For that case, this is your hyperbola. The equation of the conic section is a second-degree polynomial in two variables, and its general form is given by ax squared plus bxy plus cy squared plus dx plus ey plus f equals 0, where a, b, c, d, e, and f are elements of real numbers. However, as for our preceding discussions, we will consider b equals 0. And the term xy will not be present. Let us take a look at the following examples of equations of conic sections in general form. In the following equations, observe the numerical coefficients of x squared and y squared. The graph of this first equation here is a circle and I want to emphasize again the numerical coefficients of x squared and y squared. The graph of the second equation is a parabola. Once again, let us take a look at the numerical coefficient of x squared and y squared. The third equation represents an ellipse. And the numerical coefficients of x squared and y squared are positive 3 and positive 2. Finally, the fourth equation is a hyperbola. Notice 
that the numerical coefficients of x squared is 2 and the numerical coefficient of y squared is negative 1. In order to determine the type of conic section that an equation represents, you may observe the numerical coefficients of x squared and y squared. Just like on the first example, remember that the numerical coefficients of x squared and y squared are both positive 4. If the numerical coefficients of x squared and y squared are equal, then the equation represents a circle. An equation is parabola if there is only one term in second degree, just like this second example. Notice that we only have 4x squared here. So either A is equal to 0 or C is equal to 0. The numerical coefficients of an ellipse should be both positive or both negative but not equal. Just like this one. Notice that the numerical coefficient of x squared is 3 and the numerical coefficient of y squared is 2. They, they have the same signs, but they are not equal. Therefore, it is an ellipse. Finally, the numerical coefficients of x squared and y squared of hyperbola are of different signs. Notice here, the coefficient of x squared is positive 1 and the numerical coefficient of y squared is negative 1. One positive and one negative, they have different signs. Therefore, the equation represents a hyperbola. Let us consider these examples and determine the conic section being represented by each equation. For the first one, since there is only one term which is in second degree, which is x squared, definitely this equation represents a parabola. For the second one, since the numerical coefficients of x squared and y squared have different signs, this is positive 2 and negative 8, since they are of different signs, then the entire equation represents a hyperbola. For the third one, notice that the numerical coefficients of x squared and y squared are 4 and positive 16 respectively. They are both positive, but they are not equal. Therefore, this equation represents an ellipse. And finally, for the fourth one, the numerical coefficient of x squared is positive 1 and the numerical coefficient of y squared is also positive 1 since they are equal. Therefore, this equation represents a circle. I hope that you have understood the lesson for today. And for the next video, we will discuss about the circles. Thank you and see you on our next discussion.